inspiration for my blood sisters to thrive. Scuffling with my body to stay alive. Struggling for the ability to strive. Conqueror a recurring death race. Prospering in any case. I am a warrior, I am a fighter. I am a sickle cell disease survivor. What's up, sellies? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to give y'all our review on... <clears throat> is it is my dress up doll in a new anime? It came out January, so. Oh, you can the see, new anime, see. My Dress Up Darling. Let's see. Yeah, newer anime. We haven't seen y'all in a while. We've I'm been busy. Two, two weeks? Well, I've been busy. I don't know what he's been doing. Yeah. I'm was, sick, sick and busy. <laughs> busy and sick, sick and busy. Because we could have did this. Yeah, we could have. I thought we were going to leave kind of late because. I was like, okay, I can come up here and do the video and then leave. Number Friday. Oh, yeah, Friday. I was like, yeah, she talking about, no, we can leave on at 10. So I don't know Friday. That's what I'm saying. You text me? No, I text you at like 11 or 12. I was doing Friday. I think I was sitting at my desk editing when you text me. Yeah, I think you were on 11 or 12. I ain't eating lunch, so I'm eating boiled peanuts. I gotta go get these to eat. It's not really food, but it's food to me. Yeah, it doesn't it's, take much. It's a good eating. It is? Mm-mm. Oh. You know you don't think about light skin? I mean, the kids are gonna probably be a little bit of light skin, but you won't see the red stuff on it. Make the kids with the small sauce on it. You're gonna know what I'm doing. You're gonna like, mm-mm. Yeah, I would want hot sauce, but I do sometimes be putting like chili powder, and um, crushed red pepper on it. Mm-hmm. One time I accidentally put off peanuts my chest and everything. What? Cage of off No, it's just regular like that. I ate so much. Must be out of gas. I think so. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get into our review. Uh, my dress of battle was... It was... It was Oops. a cute anime. Yeah, it was cute. Yeah, it was funnier than I expected. I, like I knew it was a, like a slice of life or whatnot, but I was, and I already knew they'd be funny, but like that one was funny. Yeah, it's funny. It's still funny. Yeah, it's funny without them even trying to be funny. Yeah. Cause like he make dolls for a living. Mhm. And he was ashamed of it, and then he come across two girls that are impressed with the fact that he can make clothes. They're like, what? You can, you can make clothes? They were so happy. He could do makeup and everything. And they like him. He both learned, of them. He learned that makeup so quick. He was like, okay. I'm like, y'all quiet boys. They can't, nobody don't want to like y'all. Because you like weird stuff. You do like weird stuff. Depending on what kind of school you go to, y'all right. People won't like y'all. Yeah. If you go to like, um. You go to school in the hood like we did. Yeah, they ain't gonna like it. Now, if you go to a school where, like, it's like diverse. It's, a, yeah, it's a nice mixture of everything, oh, yeah, they gonna, That's different, but. Yeah. If you go to a Because I feel like anime, the anime boys are on top these days. Yeah. Well, you saw that video, I sent you the whole school's lit the anime song. Anime boys. Anime boys getting the girls. But. I thought it was cute. Like he was shy at first. He didn't have any friends. He didn't know how to connect with people because he didn't have any similar interests that they had. And that's usually how you connect with people. It's either you connect with people through similar interests, mm-hmm. you bond through pain, which you shouldn't do. Uh, come, I know how tempting it is to want to be friends with somebody because they went through a lot of the bad stuff you went through, but never do that. Yeah. In those see. situations, one person is always going to want to change and the other one mm-hmm. is going to be stagnant. Not saying that they don't want to, but some people will say they want they want to change, but they never make yeah. moves to do that. Nobody's Trust me. I know. <laughs> the second, I think second and third episode was extremely funny. Episode seven, maybe. Mm-hmm. When they met that girl's sister. Yeah, she was That calling. episode was funny. She was like, oh my God, you're so big. Like, I wish oh. I was as big as you. And he thought she was talking about her tooth. 
Tell them about the hoe. Oh yeah, she's gonna be nice, little, and cute like her. They get to the name restaurant. <laughs> Big, <laughs> <laughs> tall. Talk about she's the girl. She's hey, not tall. Hey, what the girl name is? Tomanaki. Tom. Tomaki. Tom. Hold on. The main, the main girl character. Or, uh, main girl. Tomanaki, Tom Tom yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like Tom that. Tomanaka. So. Mm -hmm. she, she said, "How tall are you? Five ten? Five ten? She said, "I ain't five five four on a good day. You five ten in elementary? Like, she yo. was so it, so mesmerized. She was. But the the, the siblings always be way different than them. For some reason, it's always like that. Like you'll have somebody small than." You see, they brought the other sister. They because that girl was in high school and she was tiny. Mm -hmm. But when they was asking her to do a group um, cosplay, she didn't she want to do it at first. Like, then when they said that they would pay, she was she like, was like oh, wow. Amy. That girl was never going to let her say no. Mm -hmm. You could tell she just be forcing people to do stuff because she persistent. She was very persistent. The episode when he was avoiding I'm her. okay with that though because she don't act like the, the Nagatoro girl. Ooh, I hate that look. I hate that girl. I hate the anime. That might be an unpopular opinion, but I hate it so much. She was a bully. There are different ways to get the quiet kid to open up. She was bullying that boy. Yeah, poor dude. You got the, you got the worst of it. But episode two when he was um when he, when he was roasting her because her cosplay was ugly and then he later on <laughs> wasn't necessarily roasted her but, but he ain't meant it like yeah he didn't meant it but that joke was funny like, it was funny and she started crying like this is your cosplay outfit <laughs> this is what you were supposed to make it looks nothing like this that would be me and not realizing that yeah he was I'm giving her the business but he he didn't meant it like how it, like how it sounded, but like, yeah, with that. Then he tried to avoid her the next day after they were friends. Because he thought that it was going, he thought that we were only friends outside of school, because that's usually how it is. That usually is how it is. Not in our life. Like, yeah. I kind of feel like my classmates, like, there were popular kids or whatever, but like, I didn't care about them. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think they were popular. I didn't think that they were better. I didn't see them as, di uh, I saw them as different, but better than me. No, I, I thought I was better than everybody. And I was, I was, <laughs> it's dark. but no, people really thought that that's, that that's how I thought mm -hmm. it wasn't wrong, but I wasn't treating nobody like I wasn't better. And when I say better, what I mean is different. Every I saw everybody as followers. Like all y'all doing the same thing I'm doing. I'm I don't need to do this to look cool or Who's be accepted because I don't care about that. That's, that's how I thought. What? That's high school. Down to the teeth. In high school. That's literally just high school. And then our little town, the the high school kids. The popular kids in high school, they still hang out and stuff like that. And then you got yeah. the ones that weren't popular doing their own thing. And, like, a lot of times the, the, the kids that don't be popular be the ones who be big on social media and stuff like that. Yeah. Popular kids, all they got is that local celebrity. I was about to say, because, um... They just... That's just the truth. Usually they be, um... They usually be big like that because, like, they feel more safe being themselves, like, doing something like this right here or, like... A lot of times they don't be, you talk about the kids who don't, yeah, because mm, yeah, yeah. it's more intimate. Yeah. And a lot of times we be having the best personalities. It's just that we, it's hard to show it in group settings. Like I, I have a hard time showing who I am, especially on social media. I had to figure it out. Like, how do I show my personality? Because I come off as like standoffish or like. Nonchalant and stuff, but that's not. Girl, we all do. I mean, I guess I am kind of nonchalant. Yeah, we, we <laughs> all do. Yeah. And I just be like, how do I show these people who I am without being obvious that I'm trying to do that? Yeah, I've gotten that a lot. That just felt like 
Why are you acting nonchalant? I'm like people think huh? you nonchalant because you don't. I'll be like because you don't feed into their BS. I'm like okay. <laughs> like all right, I'll, I'll go do such and such. But I really didn't care. I ain't gonna say that my school wasn't like that. I'm gonna say I didn't care, and I didn't pay attention to it. I didn't yeah. care. I had friends in high school, but I also was a loner. I didn't always want to do what they were doing. So, a lot of times I would be by myself. And they would be like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And it's like, because I want to. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I was like, you don't even know it. Both of them girls like him. You don't even know it. He really did. And I was like, you still don't. Like, you don't know that that the girls like you. You wouldn't know that they like me. I mean, me neither, cause you so know, I don't pick up on stuff. So I'll just be like, yeah, okay. Be like, yeah, you, you want something like that? Hey, he did not want her to cook at all. When he when they saw what she was eating every day, they was like, <laughs> "How you still alive? <laughs> you feel alive? Why do those kids be living by themselves?" Like, why do they never have parents? And that just goes to show you, it always be like the popular kid. Mm-hmm. Either that or the kid that is like the outcast. Parents don't never be around. Mm-hmm. And you get to see why they talk to every and they, why they're friends with any and everybody. Could they be lonely for real? Mm-hmm. I might use, I probably was a loner in high school, but I was never lonely. I like people myself, and then plus when you be in groups, it be, there's a level of fakery that I just wasn't, I didn't want to entertain a lot of the time. Especially being that person that everybody in the group would tell their secrets to, and then when they got in front of the group, it's different. It's like, y'all fake. I don't want to be around y'all. But yeah, I honestly wouldn't uh, be able to pick up on that both those girls are like, and I would be like, they don't make it, they don't really make it known. Yeah, I would be out in public, and then somebody else probably pick up on it, and be like, yo, what you doing that girl? I'd be like, man, we just out here trying to get something to eat, bro. Just casually just floating along, be like, okay. I remember how I went. <laughs> Somewhere with my ex, and... This older, I think, I don't remember if it was a couple of men that stopped us and was asking us questions and stuff. And I was thinking to myself, this nigga is trash. <laughs> don't let him fool you. He trash. Oh, I don't man. even know what I'm doing here. I wanted to go to the doctor. To, to, I, I was in pain. I asked him to take me to the emergency room. He brought me out here. I want to be at home. He's trash. I always had to do something to get. I had to give him something for him to do something for me. It's a wine glass, a wine tumbler. That's what they call it on spray. Uh-huh. It's just a regular cup. Yeah, well, it's a me. Yeah. I like that nigga trash. Don't let him fool you. Yo, she took him to the beach, and this man was like, yeah, I've never been to the beach. And he never really went in the water. Oh, he, was so like, he was so sheltered. He was kind of fun. Like, Not necessarily mean? sheltered, because his family yeah, like, wanted him to have friends. He just he didn't, didn't know how. Which makes sense. How old they were? were like what, seventeen? If you don't know how to make friends at that age, like, yeah, you might just be. It's, I feel like in school it's easy to make friends, but those people don't really be your friend. They just yeah. be your schoolmates, people that you talk to when you were at school. They be the associate. You will know that your friend or not when school over. Mm-hmm. Y'all still talking while school over? Yeah, y'all friends. I lost most of mine. 
Yeah. I'll get the occasional call to like update like girl guess what I'm pregnant type phone calls and I'll be like hey. oh, okay Pregnant again. Oh, guess oh. what? I'm on my third one. Oh, guess what? I'm like, like, oh wow, yeah, good job. I have nothing to contribute to this conversation because I don't have children. It really be like that. Like, yeah, now I got another baby. Like, <laughs> dang, bro, like, what you want me to say? But today, <laughs> and that's exactly how I really be like, yeah, man, I'm having another baby. Like, okay. Like, what do you want me to say today? Okay. I think I name it? You know what it is yet? <laughs> yeah, and you should be asking them questions. I don't be saying I'm like, Cause I don't know. Okay, what, for real. I don't know what else to ask after that point. You know How what? many you got? Like, That's all you get from me. I only got one friend who I don't talk to all the time, but we still friends. And then one of my cousins who I don't talk to all the time, but we still cool. Not you. Mm-hmm. Why would it be you, bro? I've been seeing you all the time. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you see me all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, a couple of my cousins, because Bubba. So I'll be forgetting. That Bubba, our cousin? Yeah. I really be forgetting that. Me and Nudis just don't start back talking. Yeah. Awesome. I'm trying to think. Cousins. I actually like. You really don't get me. It's us. <laughs> us in this corner over here. The mm-hmm. rest of them don't really care about us. Yeah. Junior Van told me he was coming. Well, I'm coming down there because I'm going to bring you some, um, mm-hmm. some, some fruit. I ain't yeah. never seen him. Man, too bad. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I would have to say they're probably moves. Our cousins are weird. They are. <laughs> if you really sit there and think weird. about it, they are weird. Hey, those are cousins. Really, because we're weird too. Yeah. One thing I would say about our generation, though, ain't nothing like the other one. Yeah, I can agree with that. I'm really over here sick and thinking about having because like, like, yeah. I don't want to say real, but I don't like real. Until you get drunk and you start talking to you, you don't shut up. Now you dropping tea. Dropping <laughs> <laughs> tea. Oh, man, y'all ain't like real. I like news. is fun. She's funny. Yeah. She's funny. She's funny without even trying to be funny. Yeah. And those are some of the best people. Lonnie, too. Those are some of the best people we are around, yo, because something is going to happen and it's going to make you laugh. You know, we had one that treehouse and I told her that we had to share that bathroom. That joke was so funny. <laughs> I told my mom, I said, I ain't going to tell her until we get there. Oh, man. You set her up. It was a bathroom inside. It was just two bathrooms. They said the second one was a shared bathroom. But I got it mixed up. That's almost like that time you set me and Lonnie up. When the restaurant had peanuts all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you okay, Chuck? She was like, yeah, y'all table right here. That dog was funny. That the table was dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe y'all ain't never went to When I had my daddy had took me there when I was little, I thought that job was so cool, bro. Peanuts on the oh floor. Oh my god, man, you set us up. You know we don't. I was like, so, 
I eat the peanuts and I throw a shell on the floor. He like, yeah. I'm like, so you saying I eat the peanuts and I throw a shell on the floor. I don't even think I did it. We, we but I just, thought it was cool. We was just looking at the table for so long. We were like, <laughs> and then y'all come talking. Like, yeah, sit down. I was, I was like, like, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Like, y'all was like, what? Okay. <laughs> But yeah, you got to clean this dang table. That was funny. Mm -hmm. We should have do more cousin trips, but it's, they don't be. It's hard to get them. Yeah, I was about to say it's hard to get everybody coordinated. Yeah. Like, noodles got. She had a drive. Yeah, she got a mom. I'm just watching the mom. Um, all of them got kids. Lani, Not all of them. Lonnie and Zuffy None of the boys work. got kids except Pookie. Yeah, if you really think about that. No, it really ain't. And, oh, yeah, Jumbo. Jumbo, yeah. Yeah, it's between Jumbo. But Jumbo ain't in our generation. No, he ain't on. Um, they ain't no generation. Yeah. He ain't generation with your mama. <laughs> yeah. My mama. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, you, that Bruh, is that crazy. So, would Rel be in our generation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he would. Yeah. Cause he like a couple of months younger than me. I think 80 is the furthest it goes. She the oldest one in, the, in our generation. Oh man. I just brought back a memory. What? And she almost burnt the house down. That was funny. Yeah. Cooking some dang ass for her. She <laughs> definitely didn't know how to cook. I don't know why she did that. <laughs> you talking about, oh, put, put salt. <laughs> And she was about to put water on that jump, bro. We was about to. No, we was y'all was going to get burned. Me and my dog was safe outside. She about to throw <laughs> some salt. Like, you can tell she don't know how to cook, bro. She about to kill us. Okay, that was funny. That was very funny. I was like, uh-uh. Me and my puppies were out. Peace. <laughs> Doing a good day. You see. Really good it was crazy that people was trusting me with their kids. I was a, I was dangerous. I was a dangerous group of Y'all yeah, hear that, right? One of the biggest hit kids. I used to be doing so much crazy stuff, but mm -hmm. I used to have y'all doing all kind of crazy stuff. Good thing nobody got hurt. Our mom was going to be playing with fire, all type of stuff. <laughs> what kind of time we were on? We built that plant for with the uh, was <laughs> yeah. that alcohol or was that um, yeah it was over there on the bricks it was alcohol and then we had uh, some type of body hand spray. sanitizer yeah setting it cut setting it on fire bro I was bad I was mm -hmm. a bad kid you tell your mama too she already knew I told her myself <laughs> still gonna tell her <laughs> I told her myself that I did that oh, I was I was really and it wasn't even really that I was bad. I just was like she, curious. Yeah. Like I just like doing stuff to see what was gonna happen. Curious, but it was dangerous. And they trusted me with their kids. They really did. I mean, but that's yeah, my hands feel sticky. That's black pants. Yeah. They can trust the oldest in turn. I don't know why. Normal. Most oldest can be trusted with the kids. Only I just. I was just not, because I feel like most oldest kids act like a parent. I was able to babysit y'all for all these years and still don't feel like I'm y'all parent or act <laughs> like I was y'all parent. Like I was just a big kid, a bigger kid babysitting smaller kids. When I say bigger, I mean like older. <laughs> I know. Dummy. I know, but it was just babysitting, like... babysitting younger kids. That's all it was. Pretty much, yeah. I was. I guess you could say I was responsible because if I wasn't, my mama wouldn't have let me keep them. Yeah. But I really was. We wasn't. still have fun. Yeah. <laughs> I really wasn't responsible. That's really what she fun. thought. It was even worse than Grandma Makeup, though. We had fun. We used to have fun all the time. We was bad. Because all we had to do was go outside. She ain't coming outside. Right. Oh, man. Yeah. The kids that they be so bored now. I'm like, how do y'all be bored? Like, man, look at him. Used to be outside playing all type of games, yo. Used to just make anything fun. But you know what, man? They got phones. Right. 
<laughs> That's what it is. They got phones. I mean, yeah, they came out when we were little, but like, yeah, yeah, everybody couldn't afford. <laughs> yeah, because it was, it was so much. Yeah. So that why I mean, it really, well, I would say it really ain't that much of them now because it is, but they never be together. Yeah. I mean, that would happen when. Yeah, Joyce want to move all around the neighborhood and crap. It really turned. It went from it went from my dress up doll into yeah, we had a fun childhood. Oh man! It went into dropping phone too. I ain't even been on it. Hi guys, <laughs> we're back. Back like we never left. Okay, who's your favorite character in my dress up, darling? It's only like four characters that we actually get to know about. Yeah, me and D. Yeah, because he acts like you. Yeah. <laughs> very awkward, very socially awkward. Hey. I was like, this nigga act like me. I got him beat by my. Nah, y'all act like he. I was like, dang. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing when I was watching. Yeah, they, like when you said he was a boy and that girl, I was like, bro, that's your friend. I ain't nothing. I don't care nothing about high school politics. I don't care nothing about a hierarchy. If we made friends, I'm talking to you at school. I care nothing. Now, if you make me look crazy in front of people, then then I'm done. But if me and you became friends, I'm talking to you at school. I don't care nothing about you popular. <laughs> You popular and you thought I was cool. But yeah, he was just the, the Japanese version of Hulu and anime. Definitely, yeah, I feel like him. Like, he's so socially awkward. He don't even know that that girl like him. He know how to cook. He, and they like him because he know how to do stuff that they don't know how to do. Mm -hmm. And they're girls and he's a boy. Like, he know how to make clothes, do makeup. He know how to cook. He know how to do everything. I, I be telling dudes, that junk is sexy to us. Well, y'all know how to do no, just basic stuff because y'all be trying to act like y'all above it. Like men can't do this stuff. I oh, know, I get hungry. I made um, CJ. You said you get hungry. Yeah, I made CJ grilled cheese the other day and he actually liked it. And I made Taiwan and he actually liked it too. And I was like, oh. they like it. They ain't never had no grilled cheese before? I don't think they ever had one that I made. Your mama made grilled cheese? But she just like her bread be a little, be a little tough. She fried too hard. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yeah and she always used to use my butter sometimes too. I used to play rest. We used to play restaurant. Mm -hmm. I used to cook everything in my mama cabinet. I don't even know why she kept letting me keep her kids fishing. I used to use her groceries. I used to use everything. Mm -hmm. We playing restaurant. We about to make this real. I made a menu. Uh, cook different foods and I would send them down the road to the little store to get snacks to get like snack cakes and stuff for the restaurant. It was a lit. I was actually a lit babysitter. I still am. Like if I I actually I'm childish so it's easy <laughs> keeping kids because I just like doing stuff that they like to do. I, do like, I like the color. They like coloring. I like coloring. I just like doing the stuff that they like. Yeah, God. Bro, your brother used to love when I was babysitting him. CJ said, Boy, you're the best babysitter ever. And all I did was print him out something to color. I was like, kids are so easy, bro. They so easy to please. But y'all really be out here not wanting to please y'all kids. That just called me a nerve playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, they older now. That was when he was little. Oh, yeah, yeah, they older now. They still yeah. like me, though, because yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm just saying, they menaces now. They're, they're menaces. This joker walked in my room, saw me playing Yu Gi Oh! CJ was supposed to be a lot more advanced because he started out super advanced. And I say that he not because I don't really know what his school he life is. is like. He is. It's funny because all of this day, you know, like how to get the intern reports and stuff. 
all of his stuff, it'll be good grades, and then you'll see at the bottom, he talks a lot. He is very popular. I'd be like, he, he's, getting, he's getting his work, though, right? Yeah. I'd be, I'd be, I never thought that he would be popular. Yeah. But also, our family just have that kind of, like, thing. Just gravitate towards us. Yeah. We just kind of have, like, that thing where people just like us. Like, I, fe I felt like I was an outcast. But if you ask people in high school, that went to high school with me, they'd be like, yeah, we was friends. Like, she she was cool and stuff. And it's like. It's funny. <laughs> um, if you ask people, like, I left high school for, like, what? How long I was on hometown? Like, no. I got sick. Came back to school. I was on homebound for t the last two years, which was basically the, two, the best years. The best yeah. years of high school. I didn't really get to be oh, no, I, just, I had the first. I just had months. What you call it? No, my freshman year. That was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it took you a while to get there. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was my junior and senior year. Yes, Most of my junior year, I wasn't really in school like that. I kept trying to go, but ended up always yeah. having to come back home. And I started to feel, I, I, when I started to feel like I was missing stuff, that's when I was like, all right, I'm going to just stay home. Because mm -hmm. this, I don't like how this feel. It feel like, and when I think about it, my first, my last year of school was fun too. I can't say it wasn't. But it took me a while to start like getting back comfortable with everybody because whenever I would get to the point where I'm comfortable, I get sick again. Now I got to stay stay home for a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. come back to school, same thing. It just kept me in a cycle. But at the end, like the, the end of the school year, <clears throat> I started being able to stay more. Probably because it was summer. That's crazy. It was warmer or whatever. My ninth grade year. Came back to school my 10th grade year. All my friends were like, oh, bro, what's up? I was like, yeah, man, what's up? Tom, we thought you died, bro. I was like, <laughs> you miss a year in high school and they just think you died. I mean, you were sick. Somebody was telling my, one of my exes that I had got pregnant. <laughs> I was like, first of all, I knew I did. I was sick. And he believed her, too. Nigga was coming to my house and ain't never seen no baby. And go believe her. I was like, "Are you stupid? Like, you want to have a problem with me? You know I ain't got no kids. You oh, be at my house. Where my hot kid at?" But I was breaking. We did. Child, I was sick. <laughs> I hate it. I ain't gonna say I hated homebound. I hated being at home because. I don't know, it just feels weird when you're supposed to be in school um, and you got to stay home and stuff, you're missing out on everything. Um, you ain't dead. Are you Was I talking to my friends when I was home? I don't remember talking to people like that. I don't know. And I think that was the problem. My homebound was fun because I was over here every day. Yeah, you were. <laughs> but I don't, I don't... Yeah, I don't think I was... Um, mm -hmm. Hold on, we was on homebound together, no? I was, was out of school. Yeah, you was out of school. Yeah, right, man. yeah. I just used to go with y'all everywhere. Yeah, you were. Right. Yeah, in the time we went to all Florence. I used to go with y'all everywhere too. Mhm. Mm but yeah. One time we went to Florence and um, my mama sent me to go get some food. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> but your old bill. Listen, listen. You don't sit like. She said go get some food. She didn't tell me what to get. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm about to eat. I got what they wanted. They just wanted a large fry. <laughs> but I also got one. <laughs> yeah, the whole freaking meal. We got the eat. Daddy eating. Oh, man. It was funny because when we got in the car, they were like, okay, I'm passing my fries up. I'm passing me fries. And I, I eat my fries. And I dig back in the bag. They're like, wait, you got more? <laughs> <laughs> you just kept eating. I'm like, dang, you done got your own meal. <laughs> they didn't tell me. Well, man. That was, yeah, that was Florence. Mm -hmm. That was the Walmart. That was the well over there on Yeah. So I'm trying to remember what Walmart that was. Yeah. They still got McDonald's in there? I ain't I been in so. that Walmart in a while. Yeah, I ain't been yet. I mean, dang, not yet, but I ain't been in a while either. But yeah, that was hilarious. Y'all should have told me. You got, you know, I ain't gonna pick up on what y'all was putting down. Bruh. 
It wasn't that big of a deal. It just was funny. That you had it was funny. <laughs> yeah, but back to my dress up, darling. Because <laughs> we keep we, talking. We, about an hour <laughs> we don't ever talk about the, yeah, we what we're supposed to talk about on the video. We always be going around. They, they know the rambling. But, they know the rambling. Yeah, but yeah, it was a it was a cute anime. Um, I definitely will continue to watch it. Um, yeah, I heard that's supposed to be a season two. That's good. It's I think. Um, I I just I ha I hate that I don't remember his name. It's messed up. So I don't remember him either. All I know is he was tall. She was kind of short. And the teeny, other teeny little girl. Yeah, and then her big sister. Yeah. Them basically the four people, and then like she yeah, got a it? friend that was talking to her, but like I, we don't know. Yeah, you randomly see her. Yeah, she I just mean, well, you rarely see yeah, her. Yeah, rarely. My bad. I don't worry. It do be random though. Yeah, she just call on the phone. They start talking like they did. That There's, man know he had like that girl. She a, uh, she's I, f I feel like she's popular because of her personality. Cause she'll basically just talk to any and everybody. Mm -hmm. She ain't scared to talk. She's very social. It's not really because, like, you know how it be some popular kids that be popular, and they think that they better than everybody. It's you not see. like she ain't like that. Yeah. I don't. Th I I'm not gonna say none of the kids that out the popular kids that I went to, went to school with didn't think that they were better, but I couldn't. T I I couldn't tell that that's how they thought. Like they just, I feel like they were popular because they really just hung around each other more than everybody else. Like every, they would hang together in school and outside of school. And I just, I never really hang with none of my classmates like that outside of school. So that's why I wasn't as close to people. And I know if I said that to them, they would feel some type of way, but that's how I felt. I wasn't close to them. Like, you know, I was cool with people. I, I'm, I can be friends with anybody. Like, I'm not social, but I'm social at the same time. Like, I'm sneaky social. Like, you won't know until you talk to me. I'm not. Like, it's, it's, it sneaks up on you. But most of the time, I'm just a quiet person. I don't really care about talking about stuff that don't matter. Like, if you're going to walk up to me and just start talking, it ain't going. Like, I ain't yeah, going to have a conversation I with you. I hate that, like... I you hate. have to talk about something. It can't just be, well, hey, how you doing? Like, how you been? And ask me questions like that. Hold it up. ain't going nowhere. Did I tell you about how I stopped doing the Scott thing because this lady kept trying to flirt with me? No. So, yeah, like, it's the woman behind it, behind the counter. For some reason, she keeps trying to flirt. But I was like, bro, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Why was you going to Scotch for the wrong reasons? Because I didn't try to get gas. That's the last <laughs> gas station. It can't be right there. Scotchman. You have good gas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't even go there no more. I go to Savory now and then. I'm about to say, you couldn't stop at Savory. You gotta go out your way to go to Marquette. Yeah, I used to just mainly, well, exclusively just go to Marquette. I'd be like, yeah, I'm not riding over that hill just to get some gas. <laughs> Bro, you be having some stupid reasons not to do stuff. <laughs> I'm not riding over the hill just to get some gas. I'm going to stay on the flat road. And I don't like hills. <laughs> hey. It's slow. But yeah. <clears throat> My favorite character, because I think you said yours. Yeah, the dude. My favorite character is the girl. Not the main girl, but the other girl, the little short, the um, short the high one. schooler. Cause, was, um, Cause that's me. Yeah, she was popular little damn thing. For her cosplays, nobody never knew her name. That's me. She. Yes. That would be me if I was in that show. Yeah, and I'm just gonna walk up and be like, be like, oh, yeah, nobody knows her name. That's such and such. From all I was like, yo, what's up? I'm saying your name out loud. <laughs> they gonna find you out like that. I was like, dang. 
It was cute though, especially when he would like saw how many people cosplayed and like how yeah when he went to that first like, convention. The cosplay man. world is like so amazing when you when you if you don't know nothing about it or you don't know nothing about anime and you just yeah. like go to a convention or something it's it's like a Narnia it's like Narnia yeah that kind of blow your mind it's crazy it's so like amazing everybody is like accepting well mm -hmm. the black cosplay community they're accepting and nobody picking like nobody. yeah right anybody can cosplay yes. there's no like you don't have to look a certain type of way or whatever to do it you could just do whatever and you know there's no judgment i ain't gonna say that they don't be drama in there because i do be seeing a little yeah, bit of like drama a little bit drama's everywhere so. but i like it yeah. like everybody just so like welcoming like welcome you're so pretty let's <laughs> let's be neutral and when, when I be giving people compliments, they be acting like they can't believe it. I'm just like, why are you acting like that? I did that to somebody and they were like, really? I'm like, like, oh my God, you, you're you so beautiful. Oh my God, you think I'm beautiful? You're gorgeous. Like, you're so, and I'm just like, just because I, I'm, since I'm pretty, I can't think other people pretty? Yeah. That makes no sense. Yeah. I don't act like a typical pretty girl. It's like, I don't. It's called anime. Now I act like the typical pretty though. Or how y'all, I don't know. Y'all y'all expect a different type of personality for somebody that's pretty. Well, I was about to and I don't understand I was about to give it. my response. Um, <laughs> I was about to give my response on pretty and I'm not going to do that. What? Okay. <laughs> response on pretty. Or pretty guys. I was going to give my response but I'm not about to give my camera. I was going to call them stupid. I mean, for the most part, yeah. The, I feel like the stereotypical pretty girl no, is I'm not talking about like the stereotypical pretty girl, yeah, but it's so many beautiful black women who are beautiful and smart. Yeah. Either that or they have no personality. They're just pretty. Right, nothing on being in their head some, a lot of the time. Well, not a lot of the time. Because I feel like we're getting away from that, from those stereotypes yeah. being a thing. Yeah, it is starting to shift and then like... Yeah. But yeah, like, me being pretty doesn't mean that I can't find somebody else pretty. And then y'all don't believe us when we be saying y'all pretty. Why? That makes no sense to me. I start calling people ugly. Oh, you're just saying that because you're pretty. <laughs> you, you're just saying that because ugly. you're pretty. Like, how would it benefit me to call you pretty? Like I said. It don't. I just want you to know that you're beautiful. You That's it. <laughs> call them ugly. <laughs> Uh, oh, I, one thing I never did was call people ugly. I ain't almost, calling nobody up. People, people remember that junk for the rest of their mm -hmm. lives. Bro. No, really. That's the one insult that somebody will lose their mind over. I know, listen, I'm gonna start. I say, yeah, you pretty, but then you hit me with that. Um, really? Yeah. Am I'm, I? Never mind, you ugly. You think I'm pretty? Never mind, you. <laughs> it's like. Mm -mm. I did. Then you started acting lame. Say, let me stop. It's not lame. I, I guess I get it. But because yeah. they do be thinking that you're lying. But why would I? Like, I'm just not about to lie. And I really don't have the same perspective as society when it comes to beauty. I think everybody has something beautiful about them. And I know that sounds cliche, but I really think that. <laughs> Oh yeah, 43 minutes. <laughs> and we only got 50 sec, 50 minutes. Yeah. But anyway, my bad. I had to stop her. My dress her up, day. darling, was a good anime. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good anime. Yeah, I enjoyed man. watching it. It was different. It was new. Mm -hmm. It was something that you know a little different because I be trying to shape, watch different stuff. Like I don't try to just stay in like because I usually like the um, horror sure. anime. Oh, oh. Oh, you know, I'm, I like Shonen, but I, I'm not one of those people that, yeah, that so really like it. I just feel like only they watch only watch like, it. how? I like horror anime. Like, crap, I you brain dead. You can't sit and watch Shonen all day. <laughs> right. I'm like, don't get me wrong. I like my fair share of Shonen, but then I do venture off. Because people really stuff. just be caring about fighting, mm -hmm. really, when it comes to anime. They just care about anime where people fight where where there's a test of strength and stuff like that that's it like they don't really care like i had a, a huge a long list of romance animated i gave to one of my friends 
they had asked me about if I had recommendations and I gave them a lot because I bought so many and they was telling me how good they were I'm like yeah there's so many different types of anime don't just limit yourself to shonen something like that happening or just romance because there are some people who just watch romance mm -hmm. anime too Something like that happened to me recently too. I was on the phone with my girlfriend, and one of her friends walked up and was like, um, "She asked her for some anime recommendations, and she couldn't name that." And she asked me, and I was like, "What's she looking for?" She was like, "Some romance anime." And I started naming romance anime, and she was like, "No, that's too romantic. I need something with a little bit of fighting." And I was like, "None, then. That's all of them. Then just watch anyone. Every all of them got a little bit of romance. Like, wait, if that's what you want? Like, any wait, of them." Wait. Oh, Dr. Martin has said she had like, I gave her death note. She said she liked it. Yeah, I said, yeah. It's a good thing. I was like, I, I feel good. Like, I got another person that likes anime. I'm about to say. Because I know she likes psychological thrillers. When I explain that anime to people, you know what I call it? What? CSI anime. Okay, not, I mean, yeah, not really, I but like at the same time. Because it has some supernatural. Yeah. Uh, in because it. the shit, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's how I explain it to people. Yes, I am. But yeah, she was like, "Yeah, I started watching it. I finally got a chance to watch it." She said, and she said she feel she been going through them fast or whatever. She was like, she almost done with it. Dang. I said, "Yeah, because the episodes are short. And you don't really, you don't realize yeah, that like, you're watching so much of it." Yeah, like you do anime episodes like what, 22, 23 minutes, right? Yeah. Without, without the opening and the closing. Yeah. Song, yeah. But yeah, um, we hope that you enjoyed this video. Even though we barely talk about my dress up, darling, we didn't we didn't say enough for y'all to know what it's about. Yeah. I think. And get a little insight on our family too, if they stay long enough. Yeah, <laughs> and a lot childhood. of insight. A lot of insight on that. But <laughs> thank you for watching this video. Um, we will see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. To learn more about us, visit our website at cellmatesapparel.com.